This is a heartbreaker for a lot of Joe Biden supporters here in New Hampshire, and it's made even tougher because many believed up until today that Biden's presidential campaign was a done deal. It was a Rose Garden announcement with his wife and the president by his side that Joe Biden talked about the window to run a realistic campaign. I've concluded it has closed. And for his supporters here in New Hampshire, the vice president's decision against a run was both stunning and unexpected. Yes. Haven't got a clue. Uh, this has taken everyone off guard. Biden's would-be state chair, Dan Eaton, calls the decision a gut punch. That's because as late as Monday night, the Biden campaign appeared to be go for launch. We all thought it was imminent uh, that we'd get a go announcement, uh, and that would be from the draft Biden upper staff, but also from uh, my own personal contacts. I have the right to be disappointed. At the same time, I completely respect his decision. He has to do what's right for him. State Senator Lou D'Alessandro is a longtime friend of the vice president, and while he is on record as supporting Hillary Clinton, D'Alessandro says Biden's decision doesn't diminish what he has accomplished. Uh, guys had a distinguished record of public service as a United States Senator and as Vice President of the United States. It, it, it just seems to me he's got a great career. He's done a lot of good for this country. We so now the question becomes, who in the field does benefit from Biden taking a pass on 2016? Uh, I don't think that, uh, that Joe Biden right now is in a position where he's likely to endorse. I think he's going to sit this one out and play the statesman of the party. Uh, I don't think he has any, any great affection for Hillary Clinton or the kind of campaign that she's going to be running, that, she would feel the need, that he would feel the need to get in on her behalf. So while the vice president says he won't be running in 2016, he also says he's not going to be silent during the campaign season. But at this point, it appears his focus will be more on policy rather than politics. But at least the field is now set as Democrats no longer have a very big question mark looming over the other candidates. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.